What is going on YouTube? This is Earl's Gaming Channel coming at you guys with another video and today it's going to be on how to connect your PS4 controller into your PC. Now I know I already have another video on my channel on how to do this but that was using DS4 Windows tool and uh, I actually found a way simpler and better uh, program to connect your PS4 controller to your PC. I actually had a lot of people messaging me and uh, asking me for help on DS4 Windows and uh, a lot of people were having troubles on that video so uh, I actually found a better uh, program for you guys and uh, I would like to share with you guys so let's jump right into the video so first you are going to need a PS4 controller and the cord that connects to your PS4 controller via USB and then the import on your front of your PS4 controller of course so after you get that out of the way just have those put off to the side right now don't plug them in yet so once you guys have those, you guys are going to want to click on the link in the description or do what I'm going to do. Go to Google or your internet browser and search up Input Mapper. Now if you guys, uh, I'll have it in the link in the description so you guys can click on it and you should go here. Once you guys are here, just download the latest version of Input Mapper. Right now it is 1.5.31. Just click on Download. Once you are here, just scroll down and go I accept the above conditions. Click on Download. Now it should be a pretty small file to download it's only taking me 20 seconds to download um so yeah so now we just wait for the download to be downloaded now i am running on windows 10 if you guys are running on windows 7 windows 8 whatever type of windows you guys are running on uh this should work similar like similar it should work pretty similar so okay once it's downloaded you guys just want to drag it to your desktop and uh, just double click on it. Once you double click on it, just click yes on your uh, security or whatever it is pops up. If nothing pops up, that's fine. Just uh, double click on it. So now it should open. Let me close out of that now. So now it's going to ask you where you want to install this to. So I'm just going to leave it in the program files uh, x86 and just click on I agree and install. So once it is done installing, just click on finish. And you can actually delete this one now because it made a new one up here that was just the install one. So now you guys got Input Mapper. So now what you guys are going to want to do is open it up, double click on it. Now once it is opened, as you guys can see, I do have my PS4 controller plugged in. So let's just unplug that and show you guys uh, how it would open up for you guys if you guys don't have your PS4 controller already plugged in. So just open it up. And it says no compatible controllers detected. Now, once you plug in your PS4 controller, let me get my, my controller plugged in. You should hear that noise right there. A bunch of noises going on. It should say controller one connected. And you guys could see, should see this right here. Now I do, I have, I have had it already installed and I did create a um, profile, but uh, you guys can basically plug it in and play. Um, so once it's plugged in you guys just minimize that and you guys can play as you guys can see I'm actually using my touchpad on my ps4 controller to control my mouse right now I'm not using my mouse right now, which is really cool um, I actually like turning that off because in games it kind of gets annoying if you bump that or something um, So then it should be down here. You guys should see Input mapper right there. It's uh, open in the background So you guys can exit it right there You guys can just come back here and open it up and if you guys want to create a profile um, you guys can click on your controller and go new profile or edit profile. I'll just edit mine right now. You guys can change up all of the um, all of the buttons and whatnot. And you guys go over to configuration. You guys can change the color of the um, the light bar and whatnot on your PS4 controller. And this this program is really awesome. My buddy Tylen actually told me about it. Go check out his channel, guys. He's a he does a lot of let's plays on um, a, a bunch of different games. Uh, it's he he posts every single day about <laughs> he's awesome i'll link that down in the description also go check him out and also i did go over 150 subscribers and i did tell you guys in one of my videos that i was going to do a giveaway so i will be gathering up a giveaway for the next video and um, i don't know if it's going to be digital or if it's going to be something i'm going to need your guys' address for and i'm going to send it to you guys i'm not sure yet i'm trying to figure that all out Please stay tuned, guys, for more awesome videos. Let's get to 250 subscribers by the end of this month. Let's do that. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. Later, guys.